Hi, it's uh, Robert Eagleson with the uh, Calgary Hook and Hackle Club, and today we are doing a Jumbo John. This is uh, John Barfly, of course he's famous for the Copper John. This is the Jumbo version, and um, what I like about this fly is that it is very heavy, and it will get to the bottom. Uh, when I first started fishing my local river here, the Bow River, it was uh, quite a while before I was catching any fish on a consistent basis and I think part of that problem was that I just wasn't deep enough. This is a very good anchor fly. So we'll just run through uh, what we've got here. So I am using for a bead, I am using a Daiichi 1120 in a size 6 uh, for my bead. I am using a tungsten bead um, in a, in a 3.8 millimeter or 532nd inch and this one is a dark olive color but certainly gold would work well here as well. So I got the hook, the bead. Uh, underneath I've got some uh, uh, 0 0.015 lead wire just to help center that bead. The um, uh, tail here is um, a ginger um, ginger goose biot. The um, abdomen here is the uh, uh, UTC ultra wire. I'm doing that in uh, ginger and uh, black and um, the thorax area here I have Arizona synthetic uh, peacock in a bronze color and then I have a uh, like a ginger hen saddle hackle for the legs. Uh, for the rubber legs here, I am using um, uh, buggy nymph legs uh, in a gold color. Uh, the wing case is uh, two pieces. I've got brown uh, fin skin. Um, and then um, over top of that, I have some uh, uni uh, mylar and a pearl, uh, size 10. Okay, so um, let's get started. So I have my uh, size 6 hook here. I've uh, smashed the barb. I'm going to mount that in the, hook, in the vise. I'm going to find my lead. And I'm going to put about ten wraps there. Pick that off and then I'm just going to push it right up into my bead. I have a 140 denier thread in a black. I'm just going to build a dam behind that and then up through the lead just to make sure that it stays in place. I'm just going to tip my my hook a bit here and come up here and then I'm going to find uh, my goose biot. The ones on the tip are going to be a little finer than the ones on the, on the base. So I'm going to go up in about here and I'll just clip off a couple of those. Now I've seen lots and lots of guys who uh, tie these in. Uh, two at a time. I seem to have better luck tying them in one at a time. So I'm just going to put that right on top of the shank and then as I wrap the thread torque is going to take it around. And that's maybe just a little short. Let's lengthen that out a bit. That looks a little better. And then I'll just find my second one and you want the natural curve of these going out to the side so that they don't come together. All right, got my tails in there. Now I'll just come on, I'm just gonna clip this excess, cut these butts off, and then I'm gonna 
straighten my hook out and I'll bring my thread up to the top and I'll find my wire so I've cut these wires to about the same length there so this is brassy size one is ginger one is black I'm going to tie those in right behind that lead right about there and then I'll just cinch those down the side right down to the top of my tails there and then I'm going to bring it back I'm just going to spin my thread counterclockwise just to flatten it out and I want this to be a nice smooth body here so I, I'm just going to wrap this up so that I got a nice smooth taper right up to that lead Pitch in there. And then I'm just going to grab my wires and I'm just going to wrap them together. And I want nice tight touching wraps as I come forward. If they're not touching, just use your thumbnail and push them together Take my thread back now and we'll just tie that off. And then we'll helicopter that off. And then we'll put my wing case on. So the first thing I want to do is put my pearl tinsel in there because that's going to be on top. And then we will find some brown thin skin and try to find the end of it here okay once you find the end I just want to clip that to a point I think there is a right and wrong side here so the shiniest side you want down because when you pull it over it's going to be on top all right um, so I want just a touch of this uh, Arizona Synthetic Peacock um, to start with here. And if you've used Arizona th Synthetic Peacock before, you know it's, it's not the easiest stuff in the world to dub. So I put just a touch of dubbing wax on there just to help stick that to my thread. And I just want to put just a little bit of that right at the back there. That's lots right there. Okay, now we'll find my, uh, my rubber legs. And I want to tie those in right now. So on one side, and then we'll find some. Don't worry about the length. We'll trim those off later, but I want them. I want the legs on this pretty long, the rubber legs pretty long. Okay, just clip a little bit of that excess out of there. And now I want to just dub a little bit more of that synthetic peacock on there.
and I don't want to go too close to the to the bead here because I've got a lot going on up there so um, so I'm just going to skip my thread ahead and now I'm going to put on my um, my collar and the collar I'm using a uh, hen uh, saddle um, this is kind of a ginger model ginger color so I take one of those feathers and I'll prep that feather by uh, taking all of the barbs off of the left side so I've got a little triangle at the top here that I use for a tie-in point so I'm just going to take that and I'm and I'll just tie it in right there at that tie-in point a couple of good solid wraps and then I will just clip that excess off okay so now I'm going to take about two or three wraps in front of those legs make sure that the leg stays on the other side alright we're bringing up one more here and that should be enough Okay, a couple wraps, make sure that's nice and solid, clip my excess, get my rubber legs, make sure they stay on top. Alright, I'm going to bring my uh, thin skin over top. stays in the middle. Bring my pearl tinsel over top. Make sure my leg stays up. Make sure that tinsel is about in the middle. It looks pretty good. Clip my tinsel. Clip my thin skin. just to make sure that stays down nice okay so let's give this a, um, a whip finish clip my excess And then on top, I didn't mention this before, but on top I use um, um, Solaris uh, epoxy, and this is a um, uh, thick and uh, hard formula. So I'm just going to put a good bunch of that, make sure it covers the whole top there. It looks pretty good. Don't want it in your feather but you want it on top and pretty thick and that looks all right so let's just hit that with a torch all right so now we gotta just let's just pull our legs up And we'll just trim those at about the same length there. Like I, said, like I say, I want these pretty long. So I like the movement from the legs. I like the uh, extra movement from the uh, hen saddle. And uh, um, very good fly. Uh, it'll be your anchor fly on a, on a nymphing rig. Uh, works pretty well. Let's just make sure that those tails are nice and separated here. Anyway, there it is. Um, Jumbo John. Um, good flying. Heavy flying. It'll keep you in the zone. Thanks for watching.